Good morning. Happy Friday. Week four. Day five. Last day for me. If you're going to do tomorrow, way to go. Great job. This is my last day. I've already done either 40 or 50. I'm just, I'm not sure. So I'm going to say it's 40. Get an extra 10 in there. That's fine. I've already done them. I did the final part of yesterday's workout. My arms are burning so bad. Um, we had a burnout thing. Let me, I'm gonna grab two pound weights. I used, I used five pound weights for it, but my arms are burning so bad. I'm just gonna use two pound weights. But here's a good little arm burner. If you, you know, if you're interested in doing arms, right? Having just a little bit, a little bit more in your arms, carrying those heavy loads, right? Not the loads and the burdens. We're supposed to not carry those. We give those to Jesus. I'm talking groceries and children and stuff. Burdens, no. Give them to Jesus. We don't carry our burdens. We give them to the Lord. So, with the weights, we did a burnout. Um, we we did super or uh, giant sets. It was, it was four exercises. We did 12 reps each, back to back to back. And we did those for three rounds each. So the last exercise in this giant set that I did today was you hold one arm out diagonal while you do uh, raises diagonal with the other arm. But the burnout on the final set, the final round was we hold both arms up and we do seven down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, and then six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. By the time we got to the end, oh my goodness, my shoulders are on fire. Great little um, great little workout for right here in your arm, shoulders. It's a nice little workout. If y'all are interested, let me know. I am fine. I want to put together some like small little workout, 20 minute workouts, strength training. They're going to be um, some legs, some upper body, some both, some core, just little workouts. And every day it'll be something different, like, you know, but working through all of those deals and putting and uh, implementing strength training is very important to strength train, especially as you're aging. Um, for women in the menopause, premenopausal age, uh, I have been, you know, I'm going through this. So I have been studying and uh, doing things like reading up and stuff and one of the things it tells you because you get this middle belly and it's a real thing and you can't get rid of it it no matter like you try all the things that you've ever tried before and it is stubborn and doesn't want to go anywhere i've never had this problem my entire life but now i do and one of the things that it um, tells you too is strength training less of the cardio you still need cardio because you still got to keep your heart healthy right but not near as much cardio. Like there's people who did a lot of cardio and stuff and the cardio is great. It's just not as important as strength training. Strength training, increasing that workload every time. Like first week you do it, maybe you do two pound weights. The next week you go up to five pound weights. The next week to seven or eight. You increase that weight load. So you're always, you're increasing it. And you're doing you know building those muscles it's also as you build muscle that burns muscle burns calories it helps you to um, bring up your metabolism as we age our metabolism drops down I've always had a high metabolism I my metabolism is it has bottomed out it is horrible now and men I mean I, if any men are listening I am sorry but it's a real thing and the doctors I'm sorry they don't tell you they're like oh yeah it's normal it doesn't have to be normal it doesn't have to be this is your new life 
There are things you can do. Eating healthy, of course, is important, but it's not going to do everything on its own. There are things we need to do, reducing our stress, which I know right now, <laughs> that's it's very hard, but we ha that's where we have to learn to give that burden to God. And I know it's easier said than done, but we're going to work on that, right? Um, and then eating right and exercising the strength training doing these things but one of the things that I have learned is you need to eat a hundred grams of protein a day good protein good protein sources and 35 grams of fiber a day I know it sounds like a lot but if you put that a little bit in every meal make protein balls make different things I'm I've I have not done well at this my plan is to I'm going to the grocery store today I'm gonna to buy several different things that are gonna be good sources of protein so I can make protein balls, I can make protein muffins, I can do these things so that I can implement and start getting this 100 grams of protein. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna be like, okay, let's see. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, so enough of that. If you're interested in all of that, leave me a comment, send me a message, something so I know, and I will continue to do this. I have some plan, I, I don't have some plans. God has some plans he has put in me and i feel more now than ever before that it is coming closer and closer to me leading and guiding some classes for people who are struggling in their bodies they want to they want you know we the world tells us we need to look this way that's not what we're doing this for we are doing this to feel good in the bodies that god gave us because he created us and he created us in his image and his image is great so if our, whatever we look like, whatever we are in our bodies, it is great. We just have to learn how to love our bodies like God loves us, right? So today's squats, my 10 squats, I told you I would do it with a, the stability ball on the wall, a narrow squat on the wall. It's called a hack squat, but I don't have a machine. So we are going to do them this way. Let me see if I can move this. Hold on. Move that over a little bit. All right, I hope y'all can see me. Let me turn my camera a little bit more. Sorry about that. My, my area has, I have grandchildren stuff. I have husband stuff. I have all kinds of stuff in, in my workout space, but it's all good, right? So you put the stability ball up about mid back, I think. Feet are closer together. They're a little closer in than hip width. And then you're just going to drop down into the squat and then go back up. One, Lord, help me build my life by doing your word. And you just press back into the stability ball. I don't know what number I'm on. I'm going to call that 10 right there. So you press back into the stability ball. You go down. If you can't go down as deep, just go down where you can go down. But that's called a hack squat, a narrow squat. Works different areas of your quads and your um, glutes. So there you all go. Y'all be blessed. Let me know if you finish the challenge. Have a great day.